Ryan Thorpe calls the fighters in for their final instructions. Follow my instructions at all times. This bout, okay, I, I believe, is the fight. perfect opener okay. for this when fight card. When I say card, stop, you stop. SFL if I say 16, action, action. this Touch is the bout that will corners. light and start the fireworks. And actually, I think, uh, Dan, this uh, fight has a lot of implications Judge. on the overall picture Judge. of the... In the lightweight Judge, division, time. the lightweight division Fighter will ready. definitely be affected ready. by a Fight. winner in tonight's bout. Here we go. Round number one. Both fighters touch gloves. Sandeep in the red trunks. Aaron in the blue. We got two stand-up fighters. One of them who's, who has better experience in MMA. The other one who has pretty, pretty good experience in the stand-up. He's been on the national level kickboxing. And you can see both guys going very cautious with their footwork, trying to ensure that one doesn't land that perfect lucky nice shot leg kick. before the bout actually begins. That was a nice open leg kick counter by the experienced veteran Sandeep coming from a Wushu background and been related to the SFL ever since uh, the Challengers reality show. He really has blossomed into an overall MMA fighter. Another leg kick. Well, heavy. For, for sure, both these guys are not holding anything back. They're switching to a weird kind of clinch, which looks like a combination yeah, of wrestling and like wushu, but definitely no, not but he's Muay got, Thai. He's, he's, got a, he's got, he was working towards a plum there. Now, both fighters jockeying for a good position. Sandeep being extremely patient Don't hold here. the shots, Red Connor. Ryan Thorpe warning Sandeep for grabbing the shots. It's interesting to see, Dan, uh, how most of these uh, fighters that came out of the reality show... Oh, big leg kick. Most of these fighters that have come out of the show have improved significantly since they were on the show. Well, uh, what's important with uh, guys who've come off the reality show is that they're definitely a lot more trained and uh, definitely experienced. They've, they've got amateur fights uh, throughout the entire season of the reality show. So they definitely, for them, fighting in the cage is not new. Uh, with, with Aaron, he's coming off of contenders. And uh, on, guys, well, what he wants is to try and prove why he is a contender here on, uh, on the lightweights. Another nice leg kick by Sandeep. A beautiful knee in there, forcing Aaron to... Trying to clinch up with him. He's trying to look for that move head clinch. Plum, excuse me, to uh, land some good. Knee. Oh! Wow, for a moment there, I thought he was looking for that head kick on the way out. Sandeep is going for those very low kicks, you know. He's, he's trying to damage the, Front inner, leg, the inner part of uh, Arun's knee to try and ensure that, he, that Arun's not going to be able to lift his leg. Look at that, look at that. No hands. Covering up, up at all. It was a beautiful slip there a moment ago. Maybe you can catch it in the replay. But so far, position controlled and effective striking controlled by Sandeep Yadav. Oh, nice kick there. His opponent smiles at that one. <laughs> when Sandeep fights, you can hear the thwack with those kicks for sure. Oh, those are heavy, heavy, heavy kicks. You can, we've but, been hearing uh, them from the beginning of the SFL. Arjun, for sure. This isn't the same uh, Arun that we watched at Contenders. At Contenders, he knocked out his opponent in almost eight seconds of round one. So I'm wondering why he hasn't woken up as yet. Maybe but Sandeep needs to, to be throw careful here. one yeah. of those head kicks to wake up uh, Arun. Now, he has to be extremely careful because against a fighter of the caliber of Sandeep, who you know is dangerous standing up, he has to be extremely careful because Sandeep's left kick comes out of nowhere. Good attempt by Arun to catch that kick and take this fight to the ground, perhaps. And a nice knee in the clinch himself. Those were the first couple of knees that meant something. Sandeep looks up at the clock. Minute 15 remaining in round number one. Both fighters staying surprisingly patient. This fight hasn't gone to the ground as yet. No surprise with both these stand-up oh, boys. Nice body shot there a minute ago. Come on, guys, action. Now, what's surprising me a little bit is that uh, um, Sandeep is, is taking his time here tonight. Now he comes out, guns are blazing, looking to kick that 
head of his opponent, but today he's basing himself a lot more than we've seen before. I think the reason is that uh, both these guys have squared off a couple of times before on the kickboxing circuit as well as on the wushu circuit. So both of them definitely know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Come on, guys, uh, both action! Both of them don't want to commit and you know, get that one lucky punch off of the, their opponent. Very true. And they also probably respect each other's power at this point. So nobody wants to eat unnecessary leather. <laughs> Look for the high kick there a moment ago. 15 seconds left in round number one. Oh, nice low kick again. As both fighters clinch up. Looking Stop. good at the end of round number one. Great opening round for our evening here at Pearl's SFL 16. You can see the replay here. A lot of clinch work, some nice low kicks there from that position. Good head movement shown by Pani, don't Sandeep. put water on the head. Both Why fighters clinched throughout the fight. Off. Some punches landed, some punches missed. And you can see that Sandeep controls the pace of the first round with his low kicks and his clinch control. Great round number one. Bas, bas. I'll keep it. Wipe that. Quick, seconds out. Wipe that properly. Referee Take Ryan the stool. Top. Getting ready for Senior corner. As we just saw a moment ago, the round number one score is in the favor Time. of Sandeep. Ready? 30, Ready? 27. Fight! Here we go, round number two. They touch gloves again. Well, the crowd definitely wants to see some more action. Oh, wow, that was, that was fast. It didn't land flush. I think he just got the end of the foot. But that will certainly wake someone up. Uh, I hope so, but uh, I'm sure the judges nice are going to be in some zone. Lands a nice one-two there. They're certainly looking a little more alive after that shot. Sandeep trying to take this to the ground. Great takedown defense shown. Oh, 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 I think uh, Connors. He might have gotten corner. poked in the this eye. This corner, red. Arun, the Show referee. Me Stay out. Pause the fight for a moment. Come here. I think it's the small gloves, Dan. What is that? Those are Can dangerous. you open your eyes? Well, that's, that's the, uh, the difference that mixed martial arts uh, faces against it? all the other sports uh, in the combat region. Open. Is MMA gloves are Put those small baby four ounce gloves. Take care. And uh, it, there's always the risk of a okay. finger poking in the eye during the bout. Stay there. And if a guy is not going to be careful enough, uh, be the, careful their bout fingers, can be yeah. stopped. People have to be, I think the fighters have to be a lot more careful, fingers, yeah. especially while uh, I think Time. the most common uh, ready. Ready. eye poke Fight. occur during uh, a jab, an open port jab from a Hopefully grappler. Hopefully that eye poke is going to wake him up, Arjun. <laughs> Head kick and eye poke. If that won't do it, I don't know what will. Oh, that's a nice counter. Low kick, does Sandeep. Catches that kick, he's got his back now. Pushes him up against the, the cage. cage. But Arun certainly does seem a little uh, invigorated after that eye poke. Yeah, well, Leave let's the cage. hope that uh, we can see, uh, you know, maybe possibly uh, a knockout from Sandeep. Oh, look at this. He's going for some sort of a choke. Some sort of point. a rear naked choke, but he doesn't have the hooks in. He doesn't have back control. Defend yourself, Blue Connor. He could turn around and look for a guillotine in the front, or maybe even a front choke. And he's out of it. Both fighters trying to be uh, passive at this particular position. The moment they come, come on, to guys, this uh, half body clinch, uh, they're not throwing knees. Uh, I, I wonder for what reason. Maybe they're both wary of you know getting a couple of shots and the, the bout finishing early. But uh, well, let's let's hope for some more action from these guys because I know for sure that. Uh, Referee Ryan Thorpe is uh, going to throw in a warning if these guys don't. Yeah, uh, Ryan Thorpe, I don't think Ryan ever. Come on, <laughs> action, guys! In issuing a, there we go. <laughs> you called it just right. Arun, for a moment, look there for the takedown. He needs to be careful here. Sandeep is looking for what might seem to be. Oh, for a moment there, I thought he was looking for that guillotine choke. 
is for sure I'm going to go to the ground. That's definitely no secret. But uh, in, in the stand-up, uh, uh, yeah, in the stand for some reason, uh, this isn't the Come same on, Sandeep Yadav nor the same Arun Charak that uh, that fought at the. Don't all the, the kids, Lugana. No, I mean both fighters are, are looking. Are jockeying for position there, Sandeep pushing him up against the cage. But like you're saying, like uh, uh, rightly said, Danny, they're not, they're not being aggressive enough. Action, in these action, positions. come Nobody's, on. Is, as referee Ryan Thorpe warns them again. Well, the, uh, the next point I'm sure will be for uh, the referee to deduct the point if he doesn't see any more action. I think that's the worst case scenario, though, isn't it? Worst case scenario for sure. No, Inching close to that uh, worst case scenario right now. <laughs> we are a little bit. Both fighters looking for, for that opening. For, for those viewers uh, who've just tuned in, mixed martial arts is, is a sport where you can use pretty much all the aspects of the fight game. So you can, uh, you can throw kicks, punches, elbows, knees, take your opponent down, fight with ground and pound, attempt to choke, lock and submit your opponent. Right now, what uh, you viewers are getting to see is a little bit of striking, Come on, guys. a little bit of kicks and punches from both fighters. And a little bit of the clinch work as well, as both fighters continue to tie each other up. Separation there momentarily. I've, most of the significant strikes in this, in the entire fight have been landed from the clinch. And uh, for some reason, I think uh, Sandeep is, in my estimate, is, is more is, is backing up a little more than... Uh, but there's Arun. a couple of punches which have got through Sandeep's defense from uh, another, Arun. Another right hand there a moment ago. And have landed, uh, but Sandeep keeps throwing those low kicks every little and while. Once again, he threw another low kick there. It just seems that he's not opening it up. He's looking for that counter that's going to end the fight. Or Sloppy maybe. punch thrown by Arun in that one. But it just seems like he is looking to counter instead of uh, strike first. Arun again, coming in, trying to push him up against the cage, looking for that overhand. Oh, that's a nice heavy kick. He tried to catch it, but it was a bit too late. It already landed. I can well, see he's pushing him up against the cage, but he is not landing anything significant. Last 10 seconds, that was a nice right hand. And it looks like we will be heading into round number three. Stop! Corners. Again, another round under the belt. Here in our opening fight at Pearl's SFL 16. Round number two was uh, a little less active. You can see the replay. That was the opening of round number two. There was a beautiful head kick which grazed Arun. But Arun came back with a couple of punches. He looked to control. There was a moment where both fighters were tying up. It looked like he was going to throw him, submit him. Nice counter leg kicks throughout this second round. Some nice punches. I would call this uh, still maybe an advantage to uh, Sandeep overall. Well, uh, Arjun, for sure, uh, if you have my opinion, I'd like to jump in and Seconds uh, throw out. a couple of punches and kicks uh, to the to both fighters uh, at this point. And the round, up, round number two scored by all our judges, 30-27 in favor of Sandeep Seconds out. The funny part would be, imagine if the fighters knew the scores Time. themselves. Well, well, they actually Fighter can, ready? this is one of the, the, the new uh, advantages of four fighters at the Pearl Super Fight League. They can actually look up at the big screen and look the scoring. See the scoring. That's so that they know that they're lagging behind, they can actually try and up up the, their game <laughs> in round three. Well, I really hope Arun has taken a look at the scorecard because he is trailing on points. Sandeep looks... If Arun wants to finish this fight, he needs a knockout. Look at this, he's looking for a choke, he's looking for a guillotine. He seems to have got it in time. Standing guillotine here. Arun is he's trying to defend it, but he looks very good. No. Sandeep Yadav has choked out Arun okay. Singh Charak. Okay. And in the first minute of round number three. Wow. Yeah, I think after some okay. scores, look on the guy. He woke up. <laughs> he Arkul. woke up and then went to sleep with that standing guillotine. Great performance by Sandeep. But I like hear the crowd chanting for him. Come up. He's coming back after his loss to the current lightweight champion, Rajinder. To your corner. 
Well, there's that uh, entire triangular love hate story. Uh, you can see story. the replay here, and again, he had the arm under the net. He was yanking. Look, look, yeah. look at him grimace. He's really, 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 Gilly really, really yanking that net. Some but he, he picked up uh, around a uh, couple uh, of inches yeah, off for, the yeah, <laughs> For a few seconds, he was uh, in the air. And that was a great okay. winner by standing guillotine. Well, winner or not, I think Sandeep still has a long way to go in uh, professional mixed martial arts. He's got to train. Well, the, the thing with Sandeep is he's still training with uh, with his original camp, which is uh, the Wushu. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. By submission, guillotine choke in the third round in 35 seconds. In the red corner, Sandeep Yadav!